Buckle up for a hyperspeed crash course in film history. Whether you're in a film history class and looking to cram before a big test or you just want to learn more about film history in general, this is the video for you. Here is one essential film recommendation for every year in cinematic history. Keep in mind these aren't necessarily my favorites or what I consider to be the best all-around film from each year. This rundown heavily favors importance, cultural relevance, innovation, etc. Basically, if you are only going to watch one film from a given year, it should be this one. 1878, The Horse in Motion. Motion pictures are born inadvertently by viewing 12 individual photos photographs in quick succession, creating the illusion of movement and the notion of frame rate. Ten years of relative silence, then 1888, the round hay garden scene. It might look like just two seconds of people puttering around a garden, but it was a monumental moment in the advancement of cinema. 1889, a lost film, leisurely pedestrians, open-topped buses, and handsome cabs with trotting horses. Yes, that is a title, and yes, it is exactly that for about one minute. Cinema was a cutting-edge tool for basic documentation, nothing more at this point. There was more like this in the intervening years, but let's jump ahead to the first narratives. 1895, the Water Waterer, from the pioneering Lumiere brothers, less than a minute long with the first to include simplistic characters, story, and humor. 1896, The Cabbage Fairy from Alice Guy Blanche. Yes, one of the pioneers of the cinematic art form was a woman, and there were many more like her throughout the early history of the medium. 1897, After the Ball from George Melier, an illusionist turned filmmaker who used his craft to pioneer special effects. 1898, The Four Troublesome Heads. 1899, Beauty and the Beast, the first film version of this classic story. Cinderella was told for the first time the same year. 1900, Joan of Arc. 1901, What is Seen Through the keyhole, important in furthering the idea of perspective, in this case the POV through a keyhole. 1902, Le Voyage dans la Lune, aka a Trip to the Moon. 1903, The Great Train Robbery, an important step forward in many regards. 1904, The Voyage Across the Impossible. 1905, The Seven Ages. 1906, The Story of the Kelly Gang, the first feature-length film at 70 minutes long, though only 17 minutes of it remain intact today. 1907, The Prodigal Son, the first 90-minute feature, though it is more like a documentation of a stage performance. 1908, Phantasmagory, the first animated film. 1909, The Yiddisher Boy pioneered the notion of flashbacks in film. 1910, Edison's Frankenstein. 1911, Little Nemo, an important step forward in animation including color. 1912, Friends, Mary Pickford becomes the first human subject of a close-up. Yes, it took this long to move the camera in close. 1913, Arizona, a feature-length western. 1914, The World, The Flesh, and the Devil, the first feature film made in color, which is made using the kinema color process, using colored filters over black and white film. 1915, Birth of a Nation, deplorable in its messaging, but a monumental leap forward in film craft. 1916, Intolerance. 1917, The Gulf Between, a lost film and the first film made with Technicolor. People continue to give Wizard of Oz that label even though it came out over 20 years later. 1918, A Dog's Life. Charlie Chaplin becomes the first actor to receive a million dollar contract. 1919, Daddy Longlegs. 1920, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. German Expressionism is perfected in the cinematic art form, forever influencing the horror genre. 1921, The Kid. 1922, Nosferatu. 1923, Safety Last. 1924, The Last Laugh. Hugely innovative and influential pioneering techniques like dynamic camera movements and bold rack focuses. 1925, The Lost World, key in the development of the stop-motion animation form. 1926, The General. 1927, The Jazz Singer. Movies had incorporated music and sound effects by this point, but The Jazz Singer inadvertently became the first talkie by including spoken dialogue. This innovation was largely inadvertent, but wound up shaking the entire industry to its core. 1928, Steamboat Willie, changed animation forever. 1929, Chien Andalou, a landmark in experimental filmmaking and surrealism. The same year saw the first Academy Awards ceremony where the top prize dubbed Outstanding Picture was awarded to Wings. The 1930s where things really start heating up and it becomes more and more difficult to pick a single film to represent each year. 1930, All Quiet on the Western Front. 1931, M from Fritz Lang, a monumental leap forward in terms of narrative storytelling and film craft. Also, Universal ushers in the new wave of horror with Frankenstein and Dracula released in the same year. 1932, Freaks. 1933, King Kong, pioneered more special effects techniques than you can shake a stick at. Then, censorship cracked down with the implementation of the Hayes Code, stifling creative freedom. The pre-code era ends right here. 1934, It Happened One Night. 1935, Triumph of the Will, a landmark step forward in documentary filmmaking, though it does bear the massive asterisks of being Nazi propaganda, a terrible yet important work. 1936, Modern Times. 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. 1938, The Lady Vanishes. 1939, Gone with the Wind, released in the same year as Wizard of Oz, hard to parse which is more important in film history as a whole. 1940, The Great Dictator. 1941, Citizen Kane, a singular leap this huge has arguably never happened again since. 1942, Casablanca. 1943, Meshes of the Afternoon, the next landmark in experimental filmmaking and surrealism. 1944, Devil Indemnity, peak film noir. 1945, The Lost Weekend. 1946, It's a Wonderful Life. 1947, Brute Force. 1948, Treasure of the Sierra Madre. 1949, Stray Dog. 1950, Rashomon. 1950 was a huge year. Sunset Boulevard, Harvey, All About Eve, and more all came out in the space of a single year. But Rashomon arguably had the biggest impact on screen storytelling moving forward. 1951, Ace in the Hole. 1952, Ikaru. 1953, The Wages of Fear. 1954, On the Waterfront. Brando plays a significant role in changing up the style of acting moving forward with a slant 
towards naturalism. 1955, Pather Panchali. 1956, A Man Escaped. 1957, Twelve Angry Men. 1958, Vertigo. Meanwhile, in France, the French New Wave is born with Le Beau Sarge. 1959, Shadows. John Cassavetes creates what is essentially the first independent film and would remain a lone operator in this area for quite some time. 1960, Breathless. Not the first, but the quintessential French New Wave film, pioneer jump cuts to say the absolute least. 1961, Last Year at Mechrin Bed. 1962, Lawrence of Arabia. 1963, Eight and a Half. 1964, Doctor Strange, Lover, How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. 1965, Repulsion. 1966, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. 1967, Bonnie and Clyde and the Graduate come along and kickstart the new Hollywood movement. The following year, the Hayes Code is finally abolished for good and filmmakers finally have freedom afforded to them that was stifled for decades. 1968, Night of the Living Dead. 1969, Midnight Cowboy. Subversive is putting it mildly. First and only X-rated film to win Best Picture at the Oscars. Now we enter the 1970s. My personal favorite decade in filmmaking where it becomes excruciatingly difficult to recommend only one film per year, but I will tough it out. 1970, Five Easy Pieces. 1971, McCabe and Mrs. Miller. 1972, The Godfather. 1973, The Exorcist. 1974, Chinatown. 1975, One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest. 1976, Network. 1977, Eraserhead. 1978, The Deer Hunter. 1979, Apocalypse Now. 1980, Raging Bull. The following year, Reagan takes the presidency and fucks up the culture for the rest of the decade, but good films still find a way through. 1981, Reds. Ahead of its time in so many ways and still ahead of the current times socially and politically. 1982, Fitzcarraldo. Werner Herzog moves a goddamn boat over a mountain. 1983, Project A. 1984, Paris, Texas. 1985, Come and See, the most harrowing war film that has ever been made. 1986, Blue Velvet. 1987, Wings of Desire. 1988, Die Hard. 1989, The Killer. 1990, Goodfellas. 1991, The Lovers on the Bridge. 1992, Malcolm X. 1993, Three Colors Blue. 1994, Pulp Fiction. 1995, Heat. 1996, Fargo. 1997, Boogie Nights. 1998, The Truman Show. 1999, The Matrix. 2000, Requiem for a Dream. 2001, Mulholland Drive. 2002, City of God. 2003, Old Boy. 2004, Before Sunset. 2005, Cache. 2006, Children of Men. 2007, No Country for Old Men. 2008, Snecticky, New York. 2009, Dogtooth. 2010, The Social Network. 2011, A Separation. 2012, The Hunt. 2013, 12 Years a Slave. 2014, Birdman. 2015, Mad Max Fury Road. 2016, Moonlight. 2017, The Square. 2018, Burning. 2019, The Irishman. 2020, Another Round. 2021, The Worst Person in the World. And finally, 2022, Everything Everywhere All at Once. This rundown damn well better have given you some new movies to check out, so go do that. But make sure you subscribe to Brickwall Pictures first.